The Holden Equinox is the first fully imported model from the brand since it stopped manufacturing locally. Sourced from GM Chevrolet brand, this medium-sized SUV takes on the likes of the Mazda CX-5 and Hyundai Tucson. But Holden says that local chassis development, powerful drive lines, and competitive pricing should be enough to win buyers over. The Chevrolet sourced Equinox is the first fully imported model in Holden's lineup since it shut down manufacturing in Australia, and it's just the first of many imported models to come. The Equinox is in its third generation in its home market of the USA, and Holden has been involved with development of this latest generation from the start. Much like other recently imported models such as the Astra Hatchback, Spark City Car and next year's all new Commodore, local engineering and development has ensured the car better handles our climate and needs. This means replacing US spec winter tyres with grippier summer rubber, firming up the ride and insisting a more powerful engine made the cut. Holden is tipping the $36,990 plus on-road cost mid-range front-wheel drive LT will be the most popular choice. But there's also value in the LS range, which starts with either a manual or automatic transmission. At the top of the tree, the LTZ and LTZ-V add extra kit such as 19-inch alloys, adaptive all-wheel drive and premium interior appointments like heated electric seats, Bose audio system and wireless phone charging. They also get the same Holden Eye safety camera as the LS Plus and LT, with features including autonomous emergency braking, lane keeping assist and lane departure warning. But the lack of a radar camera means even top spec variants miss out on adaptive cruise control. The centerpiece of the Equinox is a 2 litre 4 cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 188 kilowatts and 353 newton metres of torque. It's the most powerful money you can buy bar the new Toyota Camry V6 and comes mated exclusively to GM's new 9-speed automatic transmission. The 2.0-litre turbocharged engine, which Holden claims will sprint 0 to 100 km an hour in near 7 seconds flat, will show most rivals a clean set of hills, and it has plenty of power. A diesel engine is not yet available in the range, but slated to arrive early next year. Priced from $27,990 with a manual transmission, the Equinox matches most competitors, though the stick shift won't be a popular option. The 2.0-litre LT, priced from $36,990, combines the best bits of kits and powertrain, but its price is on par with established rivals. If the trend towards buying SUVs over passenger cars continues, the Equinox is the right stepping stone for Holden's future.